Hello, this is going to be a Insta361X mobile workflow. If you watch my other video on the Insta360 workflow on a computer, you will know that there are a lot more things you can do on the computer as opposed to on your mobile device. However, there are some things you can do better on the mobile device. Now, you might have an iPhone or an Android, it doesn't really matter. The One X does work better on Apple devices, it's just better integration. But in terms of editing photos, it's not really going to be much of a difference. So once you're on the app and you go into your photos, I'll just select the same one that I used for the previous tutorial. Again, and you can see that somewhere here, uh, go watch it. And you'll see that it actually looks and works more or less the same. It has very much the same views that you can have. So you have a fisheye, a flat view, as well as a tiny planet. You don't have the crystal ball. Uh, and the difference with that is that it would actually give you only a circular image with nothing else around it. I don't know why you don't have it on the app, but if that's really important to you, maybe consider that. Otherwise, it works more or less the same. If you want to take a snapshot, you can just take a snapshot of the view you're seeing. However, the app is slightly different that if you're trying to export an image, so if you go to the export button, then you'll have two options. You either have the 360 view or you have what it calls multi-view. So multi-view is basically a specific frame that you choose. And within this, you can also choose your aspect ratios. So for example, if you're going to post directly to Instagram, you might want to use a one-to-one -one ratio. If you want to post it on your website or your Facebook, then you might want to use a 16 by nine. It's really up to you how you want to export it. However, this will just export whatever you're seeing there and you get to adjust the image like that. This is actually the same as the snapshot function, if you think about it. Um, the difference being that this actually gives you control over the aspect ratio. So I don't know why they put the snapshot function in there. Maybe it was just for fast sharing of stuff, but if you want to export a single 2D image, then just use the export multi-view option. If you want to export this as an echo rectangular image, then just use 360 view. And once you've exported it, it will be an echo rectangular image on your iPad or whatever mobile device you're using. You can also actually batch export using the app. All you have to do is select the images that you want to export, click the export button and save them to your library. Now, the issue with mobile devices overall is that the app will only export images in JPEG. So again, if you're shooting a tour or if you're working with images for a client, then you're probably going to want to use a computer workflow instead. Currently, the Insta360 apps do not allow you to import raw images or export in anything other than JPEG. So you're getting a lot of compression in between and not much of a space to adjust your image if, if that's what you want to do. They might change this with an update in the future, but at the time of making this video, that is not a option. The app will also let you export Google Street View images, but keep in mind that it actually won't let you export tours. So if you want to upload a tour that you shot with your One X onto Google Street View for a business, you can't do that through the app. The only thing it will do is export 360 images individually and upload them as individual images after which you can't really connect them on the Street View app. So if you want to use your One X for Google Street View, the Insta360 One X app is not really going to be very useful for you. However, if you are using your One X for social media, if you're using it for Matterport, which is different software, but still a mobile device. If you're using it to edit videos, and if you're using it to quickly just share some stuff with your clients, maybe you wanna give them a preview right after you shoot a tour, then your mobile device is gonna be able to do that just fine. It has a pretty fast workflow, but again, the exported images are not at an optimal quality. So if I were you using this for anything professionally, then use a computer and you get a lot more options and space to work with. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please like it. If you want to see more workflows, let me know what you wanna see in the comments below and if you want to consider subscribing i would very much appreciate that i'll maybe see you on the next one